you know that you are on program. If you would come and just have a seat on this first and second pew over here, just until you finish doing what you have to do, so we don't have to wait on you to come up here. Amen. Amen. So we can go on with the program. So I would ask everyone that's on the program this, this afternoon, if you would just come have a seat on the first and second um, seat. And if you don't know if you're on program or not, I can name you out right there. Go ahead. <laughs> the prayer is uh, Ronald uh, McCullough. Our scripture is Ted and Atkins. The welcome and occasion is LaRue, Laurie, excuse me, Washington. And the introduction of the speaker is Melissa Coffey. Are all of you present? We have one. <laughs> I got some telephone numbers. We can make a phone call. All right. All right. Please close up. It's 309. All right. Then I think that's about it.
All right. Before we have the prayer by Mr. Ron McCullough, are you here? By me. Um, we will stand and uh, what do we believe in? Our historical faith. You know what I'm trying to get in. What do we believe as we stand? Our affirmation of faith is after I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Father, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended to heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From this he shall come to judge with him the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come this afternoon to say thank you. Lord God, I thank you for this opportunity to stand before your people today, Lord, and pray. Amen. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to stand before your people, Lord God, and lead us all in worship. Amen. And Lord, I ask that you would just come today and just get out of the way. Let us all get out of our own selves' ways, out of our ways, Lord God, Amen. and allow you to just be a part of us today and that we just worship and praise you today, Father God. Yes. Lord God, we just ask that everything that is done today, Father, is done decent and in order and pleasing unto you, Father. Father, we thank you for your traveling grace, Father. We've had people come from Huntsville, Lord. You let them get here on time, Father. You let them get here safely, Lord. Well, God. Well, no hurt, harm, or danger. And amen. we thank you, Father yes. God, because we know that's a dangerous highway out there sometimes. Amen. So yes. thank you, Father. We thank you. Father, we just thank you that it was placed on the hearts of the missionaries and other lay members, Lord God, to put this program together today, Father. Yes. And we thank you, Father, that for everyone yes. that is here right now, Father, we thank you for those that are on their way, Father. And we thank you, Lord God, for those that can't be with us, but for whatever reason, but Lord, we ask and pray that they are praying for us as we go through this service today. Amen. Lord, we just want to say thank you for your goodness, Lord God. We want to thank you for your mercy this morning, Father God. Yes. And we want to thank you for your grace. Yes. Just thank you for your grace, Lord God. Lord God, we know had it not been for you, none of us would be here today, Father. We thank you. Those small blessings, big blessings, and some of those things that we have, Lord God, that we didn't even know that you gave it to us because we didn't even stop for a moment and say thank you. Amen. So we just want to give you all the glory and all the praise for everything that you're going to do. So Father, we ask that as you dwell in this place, as we already know that you do. As you dwell in this place today, Father, we just ask that we all feel your presence. Yes, that you would just, just, just move freely through this place today, Lord. Right. That we may all be moved by you today. Yes. Amen. By our word, yes. by our song, by our prayer, yes. and most especially your preached word today. Yes. Amen. So, Lord God, we just thank you. And we thank you again for this opportunity. Yes. It's in your Son, Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Our, we'll have our scripture by uh, Minister Ted Atkins, and then we'll have another song by Choir. And Choir, you got at least two more songs. Just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I stand to read the scripture, which will be coming from Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, mm -hmm. the first through the sixth verse. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like to turn there with me, please do so and say amen. And if you don't want to, you can just listen to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Right. And loving favor rather than silver, silver and gold. Mm -hmm. The rich and the poor meet together. Mm -hmm. The Lord is the maker of them all. Mm -hmm. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snare are in the way of the foe. Mm -hmm. He that doeth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. 
Amen. I have just read Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, the first through the sixth verse. The Lord had a blessing to the readers and the hearers and the doers of his word. Amen. Amen.
following godly instruction, Proverbs 22, 1 through 6. Come on, your dancing and shoes. Don't you delay. It's time to worship God this day. Mm -hmm. Clap your hands. Mm -hmm. Put laugh, let laughter sing. Praise to the one. Let your voices ring. Mm -hmm. We are here to celebrate. <clears throat> let hearts take flight. Mm -hmm. Dance, clap, and sing with all your might. So gather round, let's make some noise, a symphony of praise, a chorus of joys. In this worship, let your spirits spring, dance, clap, and sing. Let the melody ring. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Amen. Washington. We appreciate that. All right, at this time, we will have our sharing and giving time. So I don't know if you want the ushers to come forward and we walk around, or do you all want to pass the trash, whichever way you want. All right, so it was suggested that you all stand and walk around right. to wake you up to get you prepared for the message this day, because I'm sure he has words for us today. I'm going to ask that you all stand, please. And we'll start from the back, and let's go out and bang around. That work for y'all? Oh, that don't work, man. Hold on. Oh, okay, so he said I'm good. So y'all start from the back, and go out, and then come around. Down the side and up the middle.
let it be used in, in the way that it is intended to be used, Father God. And Father God, we just ask you that you bless this offering, Lord God. And Lord God, that we be good stewards of your money, Father. Father, we just thank you for every person that gave, every person that wanted to but wasn't able to, Father, and those that gave an abundance of them. So, Father, we just thank you and we praise you. In your precious son Jesus' name, say amen. 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 So, at this time, we have our introduction of our speaker by Ms. Melissa Coffey, followed by a song from the choir. Then that next person you will hear will be... Reverend James. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. First of all, I have to give an honor to God who is the head of our lives, to the pulpit guests, and all the clergy present today. To our special honorees, the laity and the missionary departments and officers, thank you all for the opportunity to introduce the speaker of the hour. Now, I could have came with a notebook full of pages with a whole bunch of stuff to say about Reverend James and Coffee, but as I look around, I think we all pretty much know one man, know something about him. Um, he's been in the CME Connection for almost 40 years. Right now, presently, for the last 11 years, been serving the second assignment here at Brown Temple City Church, Sheffield, Alabama. Now, all I got is this little piece of paper. So, if you need to know anything other than that, definitely come up to him after this program. And I'm sure you'll be glad to share the rest of it. Give you a good laugh about something. But right now, we just ask that the man steps aside and he lets the Lord use him as a vessel Amen. to proclaim the word yes. and the power of the Spirit. And that God opens our heart of the listeners to receive the gospel. So after the next song by the choir, the voice you will hear will be our speaker, Brother James Poppy. Amen. Amen. Amen.
You start to talk. Hard coffee now behind the cross. Amen. That he will no longer be seen, but the Christ that is within. Yeah. Let it speak words of encouragement and power. Yeah. Amen. That someone will hear what heaven has to say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well. Yes, yes. Apply it. And then go tell the dying world yes. of the reality and serving you. Mm -hmm. The truth and living God. Amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Yes. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. The scripture has been read in your hearing. Proverbs 22, <coughs> verses 1 through 6. And if you don't mind, just let me share with you that sixth verse. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Train up a child mm -hmm. in the way mm -hmm. he should go. Mm -hmm. And when he is old, he will not depart mm -hmm. from it. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the theme for this program is missionary and lady. Providing godly instruction. instruction. Mm -hmm. All right. So train up mm. the child. All right. Yeah. All right. When, when, I, when I understood the assignment, mm. I began to think. It said train up a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said it has to mean something more than just that. Mm. And the reason why I said that is because when my son was little, Every Sunday, mm -hmm. this was every Sunday, <laughs> as I stood here, uh -huh. he was on my hill. Yeah. <laughs> I preached with him on my hill. All right. And when he was on my hill, he was right there up under that chair, <laughs> playing <laughs> with his truck. <laughs> when I went on visitation, he was on my shoulder. When I went to take communion, he was wrapped around my leg. <laughs> he got old enough, and I can't get him to church, but on Christmas, <laughs> day, he, but I know I trained him. <laughs> so, 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 so as I as I meditated and I thought about it, it has to mean something more than that. All right. Uh -huh. Come on, Paul. There's a young lady here in our church. She has a, a son. Mm -hmm. One day she was talking and she said, as her son was growing up, he was a tinker. He loved to take stuff apart. Mm -hmm. All right. And she was talking about how she used to fuss at him and make him quit. Mm -hmm. One day he was at his grandmother's house, her mother. And he was taking the toaster apart. <laughs> and she said, I told her mother, stop him from tearing up your toaster. <laughs> she told him, leave it for alone. <laughs> Let him figure out how it worked. Uh -huh. All right. Because of the encouragement of his grandmother. Come on, come on. He is now the leader of the IT tech for Brown Fed. <laughs> They call me. <laughs> so, so, so I believe what Solomon was trying to get us to understand was this. God has put something in every one of our children. And it's our responsibility to nurture that and to bring it out of them. Tell y'all, I guilted him into joining the football team. 
Yes. But a revelation will stay with us forever. Yes. If you think I'm kidding, I hope ain't nobody in here that work for the hospital. They got a hospital around here. If they put three, four folks have to die in that hospital for it to get to be known as Killer Killer. <laughs> our children that a reputation is better than silver and gold. All right. See, if you got a good reputation, you can make some money. Amen. But if you got a bad reputation, you're going to be broke all your life. Because <laughs> ain't nobody going to fool with you. Let me tell you, if you want to know how good your child is, leave him in the presence of strangers. Amen. Amen. Look, if you want to know just how good of a reputation your child has, leave him around for if you leave him on the front seat and everybody go to the back, then don't get mad at them. Check your track. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Don't be upset with them. Because they don't want to be bothered. Well, yeah, you going to be bothered because they young. Yeah. But Solomon said they got to have a good reputation. Yes. Yes. So Solomon said a reputation is better than gold yes. and riches and silver yes. and gold. Yes. He said, we got to teach them to be prudent, right. to make wise decisions. Yes. Yes. I'll tell the, the children here when they come, see, every now and then we need to think before we act. Right. Think of what the consequences are going to be. Right. See, it might look cute right now, you know, them making them quick decisions right now. I said, I can't use nobody but my child. My child used to be like this. <laughs> My child would be on the porch, and I could be walking by, and he just jumped with his eyes closed. Mm -hmm. I had to teach him, son, well, one day daddy ain't going to be there to catch you. <laughs> so you might want to stop jumping off the porch. <laughs> he used to have a thing, he would run through the house. Mm -hmm. And fast as he could, he would run into the wall. Mm -hmm. And I would tell him, boy, stop running into that wall. <laughs> I told him to stop as much as I could, and then one day I came to a conclusion. Once he hit that two by four, he'll quit. <laughs> so one day he come running to the highest fly, and he hit that two by four in that wall. He ain't ran into a wall. So I know what you're thinking. Well, you could have saved him while I tried to teach you. I done the best that I could. <laughs> but every time and then. Every now and then, we have to teach them truth. Mm -hmm. Teach them the right thing. Yeah. Teach them. Hey, now listen. And if you're going to teach them the right thing, you will got to do the right thing. Yeah. 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 And my son was here today. There's one thing he would tell you. One day, thing daddy always told me, you ain't never got to lie for me. Right. If the bill collector calls, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Give me the phone. I ain't got it. It just ain't up. <laughs> The truth. All right. And we need to All teach right. them. See, you can't teach them to tell the truth and got them lying for you. Yeah. I know you don't think it matters right now, but it look, if you train it up in them, when they get old, it's going to be there. Right. Right. Yeah. To teach them to be righteous. Yeah. To teach, teach, teach them to be righteous. He said, a prudent man foresees the evil he inhabits himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and fear of the Lord are riches and honor in life. You look, teacher, they don't know everything. Well, we got more, we got more lawyers that don't have no office than I ever in my life since. <laughs> they know everything. Well, you can't get them. You, but we got to teach them. Then look, if you gonna be a lawyer, go to school. <laughs> I mean, if you gonna be a lawyer, That's right. get the degree. No, don't give away free advice. Right. Get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> Solomon, Solomon wanted us to understand. Listen, listen. Real was was Solomon's child. Yeah. 
That's right. And I know he was teaching him these lessons, but all that he taught him, I want y'all to know something. It was because of real bomb that 10 tribes got lost. That's right. All the teaching and the training doesn't guarantee that they're going to do the right thing. Right. But at least you know you trained them the right, right. way. Yeah. You know that you told them the right thing. We got to realize that we're going to teach them godly instruction. We got to be godly ourselves. Amen. Amen. I almost said, I almost said, we can't teach them godly instruction and we fight it every week we go to be godly. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we got to teach them <laughs> that every now and then we got to learn how to humble ourselves. Amen. It's okay if somebody else be first. Because we God it doesn't matter. We're gonna all get there at the same time. Amen. What you say? Amen. Amen. Solomon wanted them to understand mm -hmm. that if we're going to train our children to be productive citizens in society, mm -hmm. then we got to teach them the right way. Yes, right. Amen. And we got to start from the cradle. That's right. We we got to start from we wondering why. You know, I ain't never in all my days seen more abuse now. We know we look around and we see children abusing their parents. Yeah. Well that's because we let them slap on them when they were good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. you might as well say it. Because we let them slap on them when we were when they were good. I was like my cousin, and my cousin was an equal opportunity hitter. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was an equal opportunity hitter. If a baby hit him, he hit him back. And he said, they shouldn't have hit me. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all this, so y'all to know this right. I had a cousin, look, he was so equal opportunity, we were coming up, the dog beat him and ran up in the house. And he crawled up in the house and drugged the dog out and beat him back. <laughs> He said he beat me, and then I beat him. Did we got to understand something? The way we raise our children, the way we train our children, is the way they're going to grow up in society. We buy our 15 and 16 year old guns, and then we wonder why they're walking around killing folks. What you need a gun for at 15 and 16 year old? What you say? I got a gun, son. He said, man. He don't want a real gun until he want a play gun. And I tell him, you don't even need a play gun. You don't need to play shoot. <laughs> because I'm a witness. I let my son grow up on video games. And I regret to this day that I ever let him play one game. Because whatever you put in him, that's what's coming out. If you put it in him, sooner or later, it's going to come out of it. So if we're going to teach them godly instruction, mm -hmm. then be the example. Yeah. Let your light so shine yeah. before me. That they may see your good work yeah. and give glory to your Father which is in heaven. Teach them the way of the Lord. That, that's what in the book of Deuteronomy, that's what it said. Here on Israel, the Lord our God is one. Yeah. And we should love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, and all of our strength. He said, teach this to your children. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them about it when they get up in the morning. Yeah. Tell them about it in the noon day. Yeah. Tell them about it when you sit at the table. Yeah. Tell them about it when they lay down yeah. at night. Yeah. 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 And you can't tell me they won't remember because I got so some children can sing every rap song on the radio, but so don't know the 23rd song. That's right. And it's not because the 23rd song is hard to remember, it's just that we don't teach it. Amen. All right, all right. It's our responsibility. In the book of Ephesians, mm -hmm. that's for that sixth chapter, that fourth verse, and he said, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. But bring them up in the nurture and the ammunition of the Lord. Yes. Our responsibility is to teach them. Amen. To train them. Yeah. Bring out of them what is in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have some doctors. We have some lawyers. We have some judges. We have a host of professionals. Yeah. Yeah. We just got to bring it out of them. Y'all just forgive me. I just don't believe it. That God made a thug. Amen. All right. But I think we trained one. Amen. 
Yeah. I'll say it again. I don't think God made you that way. Yeah. All right. But I didn't think you trained yeah. that way. I don't think God made disrespectful children. Yeah. I just think that we raised, trained disrespectful yeah. children. Yeah. If you disrespectful and they watching you, what do you think will happen? All right. All right. Yeah. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to be finished. I always thank God for Sister Loretta Goodluck. <laughs> when I was at Armstead, my baby was growing up, and 50 Cent was his idol. <laughs> he was 50 Cent was his idol. All right. He thought he was 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't nobody but Sister Loretta Goodlow that could help me out with that. All right. <laughs> Sister Loretta Goodlow looked at baby one day, and she told him, boy, you ain't 50 Cent, you two nipples. <laughs> You ain't fit to say you just too different. We got to train them in the right way. We got to teach them about Jesus. We got to let them know that Jesus will make a difference in your life. Amen. We got to teach them you won't fall down, but he'll help you back up. All right, all right. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Look, look man won't forget, but, but God. You got to know the Lord first. Yeah. All right. You can't teach right. nobody where you can't go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't say where you won't go. I said where you can't go. Yeah. If you're going to teach them, teach them the love of Jesus. Yeah. 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 And then Solomon wanted them to understand. He said the rich and the poor. Guess what? God's still in charge of us. Yeah. All right. God is in charge of us. Of us all. Yes. He is the Alpha and He is our Omega. He is our beginning and He is our end. In the end, whether you pro or rich, one day we all will have to stand before the judgment seat of God yeah. and give us back. All right, all right, it's not bad. So as we instruct our children, be mindful. Be mindful. Amen. We can either break out of them what God put in them. Or uh, we can read into them what we want them to be. Right. But the best, I was thinking, I thought last night, I said, sometimes raising children is like a sermon. If I, I hope I have it right. We can isogee or we can exegete. <laughs> we, can, we can bring out of them, or mm -hmm. uh, we can read into them what we want to be. And I want you to know, if you're reading into them, it ain't going to last long. All right, all right. All right. It ain't going to last long. But if you bring out of them what's in them, when they get old, I said, when they get on, yeah. they will not depart. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. God bless you. Hey. Lord, while he may be found. 
Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the Lord will have mercy upon him. As the cross saying, the invitation is extended. Mm -hmm. Maybe there be someone who don't know Jesus and call in that city. Maybe there be someone who has known Christ and has strayed away. Or maybe there be someone who has not joined the fellowship. But wherever you find yourself at this day, if I believe that I didn't know Jesus Christ and part of my sin, I wouldn't wait another minute. Right. I would come running crying, I give, I give. I give my life to God. Amen. Yeah. Will there be one? If there be none, remember, the invitation is always extended. Amen. Amen.
his dirty. But he said something else too. He said, we got to show them how to act too. And when she when, when Amy asked me about being the, I'm taking a point of privilege in my remarks right now, I'm sorry. Um, when she asked me about it, she said they was doing they, they wanted to use this topic in lieu of all the gun violence and stuff like with children right there. And I was going through an old file, you know how we used to send emails and stuff, and there was one in there about um, praying for children, and it was due to a, a gun, a shooting back in March 2024, 1998. That's how long this has been going on, and we've been dealing with this. Mm -hmm. But as he was preaching, I had another. And if y'all would just give me this moment, just to read this to you, because I think it's in line with his training up the child and the training that we have to give him. And it's by our example. It says, when you thought I wasn't looking by a child. It says, when you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you hang my first painting on the refrigerator and I immediately wanted to paint another one. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you feed a stray cat and I learned that it was good to be kind to an animal. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you make my favorite cake for me and I learned that little things can make a special special things in life. When you thought I wasn't looking, I heard you say a prayer. I knew that there is a God, and I could always talk to, and I could learn to trust in God. Amen. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you make a meal and take it to a friend who was sick, and I learned that you were all, that you, excuse me, I'm tearing up, whatever it is. And I learned that you, that we all have to help take care of each other. Amen. When, I, when you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you give of your time and money to help people who had nothing. And I learned that those who have something should give to those who don't. Amen. When you thought I wasn't looking, I felt you kiss me goodnight. And I felt loved and, and safe. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you take care of your house and everything and everyone in it. And I learned we have to take care of what we are doing. That's right. when, you when you thought I wasn't looking, I saw you handle our, your responsibilities. Even when you didn't feel good. And I learned that I would have to be responsible That's it. when I grew up. Amen. Even when, I, when you didn't think I was looking. I saw tears come from your eyes, and I learned that sometimes things hurt, but it's all right to cry. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw that you cared, and then wanted to be everything that I could be. When you thought I wasn't looking, I learned most of life's lessons that I need to know to be a good and productive person when I grow up. Amen. When you thought I wasn't looking, I looked at you and wanted to say, thanks for all the things I saw when you thought I wasn't looking. Right. To each of us today, we are influenced by what we do most of the time, not always by what we say. Thank Amen. You. Worship leader, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and I hope that I did a satisfactory job on behalf of the lady ministry today. Yes. Well, I just want to say to God be the glory. This has really been a blessed program. Uh, I just like to thank uh, everyone that played a part in the program. Our worship leader. The ones who got the scripture, the song service, I thank uh, Reverend Young, David Young for the last minute because uh, it, we were supposed to have Brown's Temple and so they was unable to do it because the musician was out. So I went to Reverend Young and asked Reverend Young and he said that they choir would step in. I'd like to thank Reverend Young, Reverend Coffey, Reverend Young, for be, doing a beautiful job. Thank our elder for coming out and supporting us. I just like to thank the Huntsville District Lay for showing up and showing out. And we just thank each and every one of you all. I am a pretty well the Missionary Society, but I try to let other people do other things because it's not all about me. It's all about us working together. Amen. And I would also like to recognize our lay 
uh, leader on the regional is he's here, Brother Shoulders. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Stowe was unable to be here, he's sick, so just keep him lifted up in prayer. And also I'd like to recognize our um, Sister Tibbs, our uh, uh, theater, uh, uh, Douglas Theater, uh, what is it, I can't say it. But anyway, she's over our, getting our missionary book together. And her and Amy is working together, and we also have the book. Uh, well, we all of us don't have the book, but uh, we're in the process of getting the book. We will do another study for uh, four months, and so if any of the missionaries or anybody else that would like to have the book, we will. I do have the information, so if you would like to get the book and get on to the study with us, uh, we'll have four different studies, if I'm not mistaken, Miss Tibbs. And so, uh, if you would like to get on the study, the last book was very beautiful. It was very inspirational. It was a very good book to study. Uh, so, I'd just like to thank the Huntsville District. And uh, thank Sister uh, Riggs and Sister Clark, if she's here, Amy Clark, for uh, getting the program together. I just kind of like left it up to them to get the program together. Sister Clark left the program and said it worked, but that's okay. Amen. You know, <laughs> everything is still. <laughs> Still good, you know. God is still in control. You know, yeah. how we try to put things in order, God is still in control. And I just like to thank you all.
temple of Christ. Amen. Amen. And every now and then we ought to get together and laugh. Amen. 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 So, for those of you that didn't think about coming, think about it. All right. Come on out. You don't know what God can do with you showing up. We invite people to come, but I promise you, a lot of times they won't come into the building. But if you see them out there, they'll come. So invite them to come. They'll show up. Mm -hmm. My grandson's coming to be half step or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But I got all of them working. That's how I got them there. I'm paying them. But I got them there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got one DJ. Mm -hmm. I got one that's going to be uh, taking care of my uh, fun stuff for my children. Okay. I've got another one that's going to be over there helping the real. I've got everybody on post. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 I promise you, they may not all walk inside of the church, but it doesn't mean they don't know Jesus. Amen. All right. All right. And by the young folk to come. Amen. Amen. Let them see us doing something besides just sitting in here. Amen. Amen. They think that Christians don't know how to have fun. Well, but we do. Amen. 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 We really do. And we don't have to get drunk. <laughs> we don't have to be high. And we have to have fun. Amen. So let them know that the church building is a gathering place. Amen. 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 But wherever we get together, that's where we need to be. So Brother Perkins. Our uh, director for the Board of Christian Education. We had a great workshop yesterday. Amen. Amen. It was awesome. Amen. I know that we were in competition with Alabama A&M. <laughs> you know, with Alabama. I know. But for those that showed up, it was great. Amen. So thank you. Thank you. Anybody. <laughs> if I missed you. Forgive me. Amen. And I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We have the last word from our preacher. Okay, Sister Nix, go ahead. Thank you. Our host. I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to have this service here today. And uh, Reverend Coffey told you what we would be having, but we would be having in the bag. Uh, cake and uh, water. We left off the peanuts because we don't know who's allergic to what. But we thank you again for coming and giving us the opportunity. Amen. Amen. And another thing, the blue shawls that you see, um, we have taken orders for those. And um, we, we already have, uh, I don't have them yet. I do have some for Jackson Chapel and Phillips ordered some. Uh, I have five extra ones if anybody wants them, but I haven't received them yet. They already been paid for. I guess they need to be reimbursed. The missionary need to be reimbursed for what we paid for. So if anybody's interested in receiving some for your church, this would be a good opportunity for you to put your order in and so you can pay for them. But that forty dollars, it's tax. Thank you for the opportunity. Amen. 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 Did our, uh, regional, I mean, our uh, regional lay person and our district lay person have anything to say? Brother Joseph, thank God for being here. Great word. Thank you. God be the Lord. Amen. 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 Now, Chris, what you said we had? Can't you walk? Did you say that they got all the people because they didn't know who was alert? We were all old enough to be able to not pick peanuts and say, man, that is so true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't believe me. Okay, don't go wrong. Okay. Okay, let us pray. Right. That's, that's the end of the prayer. Gracious Master and our God, thank you again, Lord, for this opportunity to come to this place at this appointed hour. Lord, as the the missionary in the lay joined forces yes. to train our children in godly ways. Amen. 
Lord, we can't do it without you. That's right. So, Lord, we need you to come and be one in the midst of us. We know that it's a difficult job. But you said that you'd be with us, that you would never leave us, nor would you forsake us. So give us strength and courage to do that which needs to be done. Now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. May you strengthen us and keep us until we meet again. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen.